I'm Tracy. And I'm Andy. And we are so close to the end. We're this... down to the, three, the final three. Final three. Well, we got to get right to it. Yes. But you know him. You love him. Third Permit permit house. Yay. 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 All right, where are we at? You guys. Final three. We're in Peru. Peru. Sexy Peru. Can I just say Peru. that Peru, Peru looked very amazing. Yeah. I, like, it was, I was exotic. Like, romantic, it was scenic. Oh, okay, you guys, so we had the three. This was the fantasy suite date, yeah, which is one of my favorite always. episodes really always. Other than the tell all episodes, yes. Yes, the yes, fantasy yes. dates. It's always yep. good because it's either a make or break. So the first date was Kindle. And it, it was coming off of like a weird last date where he pulled her aside and decided to keep her. It wasn't surprising that they were the first date of the episode. I agree. Yeah, figure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because I feel Following like Following up a you really assume left you're going to yeah. build also. Yeah, like let's get the biggest the question mark out of Exactly. Yeah. So they go and they do these dune buggies and the sandboarding, which by the way, I was like, sign me up. Done. The whole time I kept thinking it felt like they were on uh, like a friend date. Yeah. Like, or that they were just someone who, um... It was an activity, not a date. Yeah. It wasn't a lot of depth. It was no, more like, zero. hey, when in Peru, these are things you can do. Right. Yeah, But they had sure. fun. They, I mean, they're yeah. cute. I like Kendall. And well, that's the thing that's hard about this, is that I like her, and he yeah. likes we've grown, her. We've grown to like her. Right. I don't think we liked her in the I beginning. agree. Well, so then at dinner, she's, like, building up, and she's like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to say it. And then she finally says, I'm falling in love with you, which is so sad, because, you know, for her, it was such a big deal. But what she doesn't realize yeah. is that the other two are saying, I love you, not just I'm falling. So she yeah. doesn't realize that she's so behind. I but I think she's saying it because she wants to get there more than she actually is getting right. there. So we get to the fantasy sweetheart. He pulls out the card and they decide to go. She like, again, kind of analyzes the yeah. situation. Is like, no, I think after today I'm ready to go. So they go, they make out, they do the whole fantasy sweet thing. They even made a weird comment. He was like, she was like, I think after last night we really bonded emotionally. And he was like, and physically. Oh, I know. I was like, oh, I come on. But so then we go on to Lauren B's. You guys, I don't, mm, I know. Uh... I know that she's probably going to win. Like, I, she probably is going to win, and I cannot with well, her. I, no. Because here's the thing, their chemistry is so weird, but they have chemistry for two people who seem like they could have no chemistry with I mean, anyone. They're, like, on the plane, and it's even awkward then. I will have to say, the most distracted I've ever been in an, enti in an episode of the entire series of The Bachelor was this time, because they never rarely uh -huh. use a popular music cue. Oh, I know. And, and suddenly we start to hear... How do I live with but, but I was I was waiting for them like, to like walk around the corner and see an up and coming <laughs> no, Nashville artist. No, but, but no. no. The important thing uh, to like, take away I mean, from from this was that at dinner, Lauren B says I love you and Ari says I love you oh, back. Oh, Ari, I was not expecting. Me no. neither. Like I thought he was gonna stick to his like I'm falling for you lines, but he just went for no, it and said, said I, I love you. you. He's been really good at tiptoeing right around. I was thinking the whole time, oh poor Becca K, because he just said I love you to her. I know. And now Becca K is probably thinking, getting so excited. But then he pulled a classic <laughs> Ben Higgins double I love you, which I was not expecting. Me I love the Ben neither. Higgins note. Remember how yeah. much trouble Ben got in for saying I love you to and two I, women? And I think that the producers were like. This this, we're, we don't have enough drama, and probably, and maybe asked him, would you be Ooh. willing to say that? Because remember, Ben Higgins was the same way. There was no drama, no drama, and then suddenly he says, "Double, I love you." So anyway, Becca K and he go on this date. This really fun date. They go into this like cool tent, and like it looked beautiful. Wait, Arabian Nights in which, Peru. Which, by the way, the, their fantasy suite. It's like it's a fantasy tent. Yeah, it's a fantasy. And I, it's a fantasy. <laughs> it's a fantasy it tent. And then like, I wrote down, nope. Here's the thing, he seemed yeah. more into Becca K, at least at this point, than he was into Lauren B. Really? Did you Isn't not think so? I was like, oh, Lauren's got it wrapped. Well, see, I just thought that he was so unsure because he hated how, like, inside herself Lauren B was. Yeah. Like, she was just so in her head and, like, couldn't open up and couldn't break that. But Becca K is all like, I love you, like, yeah, and very, like, she's affectionate. A lot. Here's what we have. At the end of these dates, we have, he said, I love you to two different women, two and I'm three. falling for you for the third. And so three fantasy suites. Let's have Becca's ex show up and kind of throw a wrench in things. Can we to just talk about us. him for a second? Okay. You Let's too. talk about him for a long okay. time. And here's the thing you always expect the ex to show up and be like, I want a fight. Yeah, dramatic, yeah, dramatic. And he was like very respectful and yeah. said, I've loved her for a long time, yeah. the whole thing. And I was like, he's super hot. He flew to Peru for her. Talked to he, Ari first. Yeah, he talked to Ari first. He was kind of mature about it. Yes. He brought cute flowers. He looks good in a suit. He did I, look good in a suit. I, <laughs> I have a bold. It's not a prediction, Ooh. it's just an ask. ABC, Ross should be the new Bachelor. Oh, you did it! Yes. I kind of love that. But he came I off, mean, he came I off, kind he came of love that. Really yes. well, he came off really well for being the, the jilted lover. Oh, I love him. So I think they wanted to confuse us and make us think maybe she'll go home. Well, she was smart saying you're not coming into the room. Yeah, very yeah. smart, also respectable. Rosie and Ronnie happened, and yet again, Ari pulls Kendall aside, and to me, I was like, well, this is, you know? Yeah. Pull me, pull me once. You know? <laughs> pull me twice. Pull me twice, I'm going home. Mm -hmm. And she, you know what? She knew 
And yeah. she handled it really well. I but I think she, she really... knew earlier. I think she knew earlier. She even said, I wanted to say I love you, but like I couldn't get engaged if you proposed to me tomorrow. She yeah. said that. And so... I like that he didn't leave her hanging. He just went and did it and cut her and then gave the roses out. And the yeah. ladies were like, okay, this is happening. It's over. But here's the thing. I like Kendall enough. I hope she goes to paradise. I hope we see more of her in the Bachelor world just because I think she's interesting. Anyway, yeah. here's the thing. We're down to the final two, you guys. Yay! I know. I'm excited. I really, and they. Does what anyone did... have a pick left? Yeah. I'm going to go with Lauren B. Okay, and you have Becca K, so I'm gonna From be the, the get-go. I'm gonna be the tiebreaker, and I just feel like she's more interesting, so I'm gonna go with Becca K. Yes. Can I join you? You're there with me. By the way, there. I agree with that. I know. But I think he will pick the know, more boring he option. Here's what I'm excited about. Chris Harrison gave us, and I know he always does, but he mm -hmm. gave us a tease oh, that, that was maybe a good they, tease. Yes. Maybe something crazy really does happen. I know. When he walks so, and someone's crying. That's a good crying. tease. Yeah, well, and, then he, and then he's like, the, you'll, you've never seen anything like this. I'm like, I'm pretty sure we've seen literally yeah. everything that could possibly happen. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. He always say that, though. But he always that, I don't know. A big thanks to you guys for watching. Thank you so much. We're so excited for next week. And don't forget to tune into our special recap tomorrow when we have Raven and Adam here in the cubicle. I love them, Raven. And comment below to tell us what you I have Bye. to go back and do the thing on the show. Cheers! Woo! Don't. I'm fine. <laughs>